George, oh, yes, guys. Yeah, the, the old MMA meeting. You remember all <laughs> <laughs> Yes, the real one. Uh, it's, it's, I, mean, uh, I think a, a fairly surprise announcement, right? I mean, it snuck up on everybody. So I guess how does it feel now that it's out there in the world? Everybody knows George St. Pierre is going to compete again. I'm, I'm excited. That Well, that's one of the reasons why I came back. I, I, I like to feel the love of the, the fan, the adrenaline, and uh, it's a serious competition, and I'm, I'm excited for it. What got you over the hump? Because I know this has been kind of talked about for a long time. You would tease, maybe I'll grapple. I definitely won't fight, but maybe I'll grapple. But finally you said, yep, I'm in. Let's do this. What got you over? Well, a few weeks ago, a few months ago, actually, I had a meeting with some of the staff of, of UFC, and they were... They told me that it were interesting to take over submission wrestling, professional submission wrestling, jiu-jitsu. And I know for a fact that it is a sport that is more accessible. It's accessible to a wider range of people than mixed martial art due to, to the risk of injuries. And I love, the, I love martial art. And I'm in a position now, I'm 42 years old. I'm not the same man that I was when I was competing. I, I, when I want, when I was competing as a, in mixed martial art, I wanted to be the strongest man in the world. That was my priority. Now it's not no longer my priority. But I still like to train for a competition. And I think it's it's perfectly fitted for me. I love it. Last thing for me, uh, you look leaner now than you did when you were fighting. So, I mean, like, what weight do you think that you'll compete at? And are you, you know, are you looking for guys your size? Are you willing to take on some of these monsters? I, I, I think I'm, uh, I could compete at 170 still. Um, I've never been a big fan of of uh, weight, big weight cut. I I am the same in terms of muscle mass and everything. I just lose a lot of water retention because I've been doing fasting. When I retired, I, I was uh, suffering a, from a condition of ulcer colitis. Then I discovered fasting. Get rid. I was on heavy medication back then. Now I got rid of all my symptoms and I feel great. I'm very healthy, and uh, I'm blessed to be here with you guys. George, a lot of you said that you missed the competition and you. You're really excited to get that back, but is there a concern of yours returning? Like, once you get back, some of these might not be enough. And you think, oh, I really miss the competition, but I miss the big arenas. <laughs> get back in there. Well, my goal, guys, is to take this sport and bring it into a big arena. This is my, this is my goal. That's why I came here to help promote the sport, promote the, this 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 event that will be hosted here in uh, December 14, and that's my goal. I wanted to make this sport an Olympic event, like it was in ancient Greek. And, 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 I, and I believe it could be done. I believe it could be done. And uh, there's different kind of competitor in this kind of event. Uh, there's guys that are competing like Gordon Ryan, Giancarlo, to be the best in the world, uh, best in grappling. Uh, I'm 42 years old. Uh, I'm my my physical prime. Might, I might have passed my physical prime, but my knowledge keep incre increasing. I'm real realistic when I talk about it, but I still love the kick of competition, and I believe if I compete against uh, another fighter that is from the UFC or a former fighter, that would be best for the organization, for. The, the audience, for my fans, for his fans, whoever it is, and I think that's how I will serve this the best. And it's right perfectly into the next question, and you, so you think a former fighter is the one you want to play. Being with three names, I'd like you to rank them in order, which one do you find most attractive to compete against in submission rapper? Beefy Magomedov, Kamaru Usman, or Anderson Silva? <laughs> they, would, they, are all, they are all very attractive. <laughs> Um, but every, everybody has a different agenda. Uh, some are training for upcoming title fights. Some, you know, some some are maybe too heavy. Some are too light. Some just retired and don't want to have nothing to do with competition. Uh, I received the um, I received a, a list from UFC today, and uh, we're gonna watch. We're gonna check and look who's available and. We're gonna make a, take a decision with the UFC and with my people to to make sure we we go up against uh, ooh, 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 go up against someone dating that the people want me they want to see me to compete against. Are any of my names on that list? Do you know? I'm sorry. Are any of the names I just said on that list? Yes. 
<laughs> a lot of people seem to say, oh, I see Habib training. He's looking like he's getting ready for something. Uh, that was the fight that got away from you in MMA with the speed. That'd be the ultimate one, you think? Um, it could be. Uh, it could. It, 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 it could be. Um, there's a lot of other potential interesting matchup, uh, but it could be. Everybody has a different different agenda, a different schedule, and uh, we'll see. Yeah. Okay, Khabib was not on the name uh, on the list, but 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 uh, you know I have to to make sure to 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 see who's available. Now who's... he knows your name's on the list. He might be on the list. Yeah, that, 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 that's the thing. I, I, my goal is to bring this event to a to a much bigger to to, to a much bigger uh, uh, event. And I'm here to promote it. I will do the best as I can. And maybe once it started, some guys will look at it and say, hey, I want to be part of it as well. So it's fun. George, you, uh, you fought on the UFC's 20th anniversary card this year. It's its 30th anniversary. Where do you think the sport will be at the 40th anniversary? The UFC? Yeah. Well, it's it's worldwide already. It's, it's huge. Uh, it's... Uh, it's gonna keep growing. It's gonna keep growing. I mean, it's gonna be, uh, you know, in in some culture, uh, mixed martial arts fighter are the most popular uh, athlete. You know what I mean? When, when you go, it's, there's kind of certain certain places in the world, and when when we walk some somewhere like we're ah, like it, we're bigger than any other athlete. So I think it's just gonna keep be more popular and more popular, you know, in terms of uh, viewership. And just wanted to know what you think of uh, the welterweight champion right now, Leon Edwards, and a lot of debate about who is the best welterweight. You know, he beat Kamaro twice, he's going to fight Colby. Uh, what do you just think of the welterweight division in Leon right now? Well, he's, he did an amazing performance. Um, I had time, I, I spent time with him when I was in England. Uh, we had a great time together. He's, uh, I talked to him, he's very smart. Uh, what makes a great champion, it, it's not only phys physical, it's, it's very mental. And I had a chance to talk to him, he's he's very, very smart guy. And uh, when you talk to people, sometimes you realize why they're successful, he's, he, he's very smart. And uh, his, his head is at the right place, you know, I'm sure it's, it's, it's only the beginning for him. You mean Zuckerberg or Elon Musk? <laughs> I don't know if who will win, you know what I mean? Um, it's a good question. I, I don't know if this fight will happen. Would you like to see it? I, uh, <laughs> I'm curious I, I, as a fan, but if I speak with my heart, I think a man like Elon is extremely busy, for example. And I know Mr. Zuckerberg is probably extremely busy as well. Uh, most of Elon's time is, is spent on working on things that can that change the fate of humanity. Therefore, I think they have more important important things to do than taking some of their time and get ready for for a cage fight. I know it's I know I know it's like dropping a cold shower on you guys, but that's what I really believe. I could <laughs> I could I could be lying and try to to you know to 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 gain some. Gain some uh, some attraction and say, oh uh, yeah, I want this part. But I, I, that's what I really believe in, in the deep in the, in the depth of my heart. I I hope it gets resolved uh, in, in in a different way. Oh God, it's a brain damage. We don't want to damage his brain. We want him to keep working. He can change the fate. Of, he's changing the fate of humanity. These kinds of men comes. In, it comes in, in, in are, are too too rare. You know, we, we can't you cannot waste that opportunity that, that, that he has. He can he can he can make a leap of, of increase in terms of technology. He can he can give us a leap of a of, uh, hundred years old. You know, like uh, like this. You know, so we need him. You know, <laughs> <laughs> the same thing. You know, the same thing. I mean, I mean, ultimately, it's his decision. I I, I told Elon that he. he, he if he needs my help, uh, and I, 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 I will be there to help him the best as I can.